Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the latest edition on the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we wanted to bring you a comparison video of the Launch CRP129E versus the standard Launch CRP129. Now, a lot says VIII. The VIII and the CRP129 are exactly the same tool. They come in red or they can come in black. Okay, so I just want to get that out of the way first of all, um, but also this, I can't turn this on at the moment because we have a problem with the files. Uh, we need to do an update on the tool, so we're getting a little bit of a, a problem when we plug this in. So um, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead with the video in any case, but I'm going to show you the differences uh, just by explaining them to you. This tool is plugged into the vehicle. So, um, the, both of these tools are available on Amazon, I'll give you the prices in a second, but click the links in the description below this video because it will take you to the genuine listings. There are fakes, there are clones unfortunately online, so please do your best to stay away from those. I know it's hard because there are so many of them, but making sure you click the links in the description below this video will ensure that you get a genuine product. Now this one here, the Launch CRP129E, this kit is currently £215, which is around about $290. This one is £199 and it's currently, I think that works out at about $270. Both of these are aimed at home DIY enthusiasts. Um, so, yeah. <sighs> If you've got maybe like a garage or a workshop, then I wouldn't recommend going for these tools. I would say they're probably more suited to home DIYers with a few cars to look after, enthusiasts, maybe family members who've got a few cars that they want to look after. They're both hard wearing kits. This one feels more rugged and more durable. This one kind of does to an extent, but you can kind of pull the covers. It feels a little bit flimsier, so this one's definitely got my vote for the, uh, the ruggedness and the toughness of it. Uh, when it comes to the manufacturer coverages, both of them are going to cover the same manufacturers. So if we click on to diagnose, I'm just going to scroll through the list here and pause the video if you wish. But ultimately, they're both going to cover all of the main systems, uh, sorry, all of the main manufacturers that you'll generally see in the mainstream. Um, when it comes to system coverage, both of these tools will do all of the main systems, uh, well, all of the, the four main systems, which are engines, airbags, ABS, and transmission. This will only do those systems. This one here is a little bit better because it gives you uh, subsystems as well. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So it, it basically covers any system which is associated with the main four systems. So if we're just gonna select our vehicle. So for example, the drive, we've got engine and transmission. Then we've also got a couple of additional systems as well. Then it's the same for the chassis. The ABS is the main one, but we've got a couple of extras. And then the body, the airbag is the main one, but We've got a couple of extras as well. Um, so that is one of the benefits of the CRP129E tool. Just get back to the home screen in the start. Um, when it comes to the what else have we got here? Sorry, I'm just I'm just looking at my sheet here. Uh, so we've got manufacturer coverage, we've got system coverage. None of these tools are wireless, but we do come to a thing called special functions. Um, as far as I'm aware. This tool will cover special functions, which are oil service reset, it will do electronic park and brake and steer and angle reset. As far as I'm aware, those are the only functions, special functions that it will cover. I might be wrong, have a look in the link in the description, that will doubly confirm. This one does, definitely does a few more because we've got the brake reset, that's electronic park and brake. Or maybe that's what, electronic park and brake, oil, steer and angle sensor, yes. Uh, electronic park and brake, oil reset, um, what's that? Steering angle sensor reset, electronic throttle relearn, and TPMS reset. You do get the additional ability to click on more and buy more functionality. So for it's around just under sixteen dollars, you could buy additional functionality like battery matching, uh, gear learning, DPF regeneration, suspension reset, injector coding. Uh, so it does open the tool up a little bit more if you wanted to, if you're willing to pay just that little bit extra uh, for those extra functions. Now when it comes to live data, um, both of them will give live data, both of them will give graphing data. I'll show you a quick example of the, the live graphing data, I think it's really good and I think it's really informative and helpful. Um, this, co this card doesn't have any fault codes. So live data, we select all, this is just the engine system, so you can get, you can get live data for other systems like the ABS, etc. Um, so if we're going to click on the, this one here, the airflow rate, oh, click on the graph on the end there. 
got to be really specific. So this is giving us live data for the engine system on the well with with regards to the airflow rate from the mass airflow sensor as you can see there so if I put my foot on the accelerator you see how we're getting fluctuations there Let's move that out of the way so it gives you an idea of how a specific sensor or parameter is performing within any particular small part of the engine so it's really good if you want to monitor the progress or monitor how a specific um, item is working within the engine module and whether it's working or not so now I've, I've taken my foot off the accelerator and you can see it's idling quite nicely there that's just an example of the live data but you can get the live data for engine um, your ABS any system you want really Okay, we'll come to that. Um, when it comes to updates, updates are free for life for both of these tools. Uh, this one is a bit easier because you just click on update and it's a one touch update. So long as you've got the internet connection, it automatically knows which updates need to be done. So the top two here need to be done. On this one, it's just a case of updating. I'm gonna do that uh, when I get an internet connection back in the office. Uh, this one, you do need to connect it to a computer to get internet updates. A little bit more long-winded, but ultimately you get free lifetime updates. When it comes to help and support for these tools, because you're buying these from Amazon, although they are genuine products, the Amazon um, platform isn't that great for help and support. Generally what they'll do is they'll tell you just to return the item for a refund if you're not entirely happy with the performance of the tool. Um, yeah, you can try and send feedback, but as to whether they will listen to that is a completely different matter completely. Um, printing facility, this one doesn't have it. This one does have it by way of generating a report and then sending it to your computer via email, so long as you've got an internet connection. Um, power supply, this one has an internal battery, so you could actually take this out. Uh, the connector out it would stay alive but you can obviously uh, look at the data away from the car this one has to be plugged into either a, a vehicle or a laptop via um, a USB cable now you won't you won't be able to really do anything when it's connected to a laptop the only thing you can do with this one is plug it into a vehicle then you'll get the light then you'll get the interesting data Screen sizes, this one's, I think this is a five inch, I think this is a four inch, just a little bit different, uh, a bit bigger, but ultimately you'll get access and you'll get all the information on both screens, no problems there. Languages, they both cover multi-language, if I just go on to language, it's pretty much the same for this one as well. So there's a few different additional languages that you can uh, get access to there as well. Um, which one of these tools would I go for? Which one would I recommend? I'm very sorry that I haven't been able to put this one on and show you the actual live screen of this one. Um, and it's got nothing to do with that based on my decision, but this one is much better. Um, it gives you more coverage, more functionality, more service functionality reset, and the option to buy more. It gives you good, um, health reports you can print off health reports you can email health reports to people you can also if you've got a fault code say for example you had a, a unique fault code in a description and you weren't entirely sure what to do what it gives you the option to do is actually um, click on a, a, a button for more information and it takes you directly to a Google web search for that particular fault and it'll give you information on what that, what's causing that fault and how other people have fixed that fault so it's a really uh, good intuitive scanner a scanner for the modern day, I would say, uh, but I would definitely recommend this one over this one. But it's entirely up to yourself. You know, this one does cost a little bit more, not by a great deal. You know, you're talking 15, 16 pounds more. Maybe it's a little bit more if you want to add the additional reset functions. But, you know, if for a little bit more, you're getting a lot more is my personal opinion. So um, the links in the description below, as I say, they will take you to the genuine listings. Beware fakes and clones because they will cause your vehicle nothing but problems and issues. So I hope you've uh, taken something from this and I hope it's maybe answered the question. A little bit on that before, like I said, the VIII is exactly the same as the CRP129 in the same way, and you can get this in red and in black, in the same way the CRP123 is also called the, the VII Plus and that kit is also available in red and black as well so just a little bit of information because it, it can be quite confusing to understand why there are so many different versions of these tools but that's why okay thanks for watching I'll see you soon